Right, all right, I'll get some more enshrouded. However, today we're going to try something amazing. I think that we are going to try to do actually a speedrun of this game. And, but it's not gonna be any type of speedrun, it's gonna be a speedrun where I have not done any research other than my own research. So I do not know the way to go. I mean, I kinda know the way to go. I'm not sure where to go first or what really I should be doing. So I do think we're just gonna start off right away. Now hang on a minute. I also created this thing. Now does it work? Because I did uh, make it myself. Let's see, right now, okay, so then I go into scripts. I made this in Python, and if I press start, nothing is happening. If I reload it, and then start, there we go. Okay, now we got a, now we got a speedrun timer. It doesn't necessarily work. I don't have milliseconds on it, because that was a little bit weird. It did something with the scaling. I could probably index it in some sort of way, but we will see. Right, let's create a new character. Let's just make, hmm. Now, who shall we make? Okay, let's make a sort of warrior. I think that is fine, except of course we need a better beard. Yes, speed one, speed one, S speed one. Yes, speed run one, speed run one. Right, done. Okay, speed run one. Here we go. Right. Okay, so the timer is at one minute and twenty-six seconds. Good start. Yeah, okay, oh, skip that, and we're back in the cauldron. Fantastic. I mean, I guess I don't really need to start the speed run until like right now so one minute and okay this is taking some time okay so one minute and 50 okay that's when we started right okay come on speed run yes not sure if i need to do that who knows okay so we're just gonna skip all of this i need to make the flame altar but in order to do that i need rocks and i do believe that the strat is to get a little bit of stones i probably need Mm, I need the grappling hook and the glider. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, obviously it is going to be edited, and I am recording, so it's going to be uh, heavily edited, but still, still, I think this could be a fun experiment. So I'm just going to be a little bit careful because I don't really want to die. That will set me back some. I need stone. Let's see. Okay, and I need some of these. Get back here. Okay, I'm not 100% sure where I should go. But I think I should make the glider level up enough to get a draft. And then maybe we can just head straight to that other area. Okay, come on. Come on, where are you going? I need your skin. Okay, you went down there. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, let's see. What can we make? I know this. Let's make some string. Uh, let's make an axe and probably a pickaxe. Uh, let's see, in order to get this, I need logs and more string. Okay, I'm just gonna make a ton of string because I might need that. I'm gonna need a flame altar in order to make the glider. I just need shroud wood, metal scraps and more shroud spores. That is fine. So let's head down here and try. I can get a ring from this guy. So that's maybe a good start. Okay, that's a ring. I mean, might as well equip that. More stamina and a little bit of health. That's fine. Okay, so seven minutes already, eh? Hmm. Not looking too good in the speedrun department, but we're getting there. And it's not like I'm gonna sit here and just wait until I'm done with the game and just do experiments. Come on. Oh, right, right. Experiments. Exactly. Yeah, because this is definitely a. Uh, Official, unofficial, blind run, speed run. I know sort of what I'm doing. I know a little bit where I'm supposed to go. Not 100% sure. Should this be a part of the speed run? Maybe, maybe not. I do know that I need the alchemist at the very least in order to make goo. Right, okay, so I need to go to Willow's Crush. Now the grappling hook could really come in handy. Come on, come on. Doing a speed run over here. It's already been, well, a total of 30 minutes. Me. Come on. Okay, and then we can just create the workbench. It's gonna come in handy. And then we can make the glider. In order to make the grappling hook, I need more shroud spores and metal scrap. Not a lot of metal scrap. I want to level as fast as I can to get updraft, so probably, let's see. I know that uh, Alchemist is over there, but I need to get also all the way over there. Now, can I get to the very top of that thing? Then I need to get all the way over there. Let's give it a go. So far, so good. Now I done goofed a little bit because I did spec into spirit rather than dexterity. I think I should unlock this area. Maybe. I'm not sure if this is the appropriate way to do it. We're just gonna give it. 
to go. Yeah, I also need to find a home with more rested buff. Ah, damn it, yeah, I need that thing. Okay, let's head back down. I do need the grappling hook. Let's see, is there anything else I can loot around this area? Does not really look like it. I might have already done an oopsie. Come on, scrap. Fantastic, okay, now we can make the grappling hook. Hang on, I still need to get into the shroud. But is there a shroud here that I can get into without having to upgrade my flame? There should be, maybe. Also, I can wait until night. Okay, there comes a couple of wolves. Should be fine. Should be totally fine. Okay, come on. Give me... Okay, so that's nine. Nine rested bonus. Not bad, not bad. Because this gives me more stamina, and I do need more stamina. Can I get over there? That is the issue. Also, it might be getting dark soon. Is there a zombie over here? That looks like a zombie. Okay, I can get in here, but I don't see any zombies. Alright, okay, so are we getting close? I'm not sure. I think Willow's Crush is all the way up here. Let's see. Am I screwed? Not yet. It is getting dark very fast. And now I can't see. Let's see. Okay, so what is that? That is the second boss. And also I see some zombies. Yeah, I might take care of some of the zombies. Yeah. I mean, it is to be expected. Where the hell am I? That should be totally fine. <laughs> what did I expect? Like, seriously. Obviously, I'm gonna die easily. Hills of Scavenger. This is where the boss is. I, I'm not sure. Can I kill the boss already? Grappling hook. I mean, I might as well create some storage. That should be fine. Construction hammer. Maybe. Can I kill the boss? Like, just right here, right now. Or is this just gonna be a huge mistake? I guess we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, again, this is just good for testing stuff out. I don't think there's a way that I can cheese the boss. Is there? Let's see. Can I get up somewhere? Okay, there we go. So we managed to kill the second boss just at level 2 with basically nothing. Yeah, level 2 and 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, so he dropped another ring. Health regeneration, that is good, and more health. Nice. So where to? Maybe this way. I'm not sure. It is very dark. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's see. Okay, so what is this place? Is this Willow's Crush? I don't think it is. Yeah, I think I need to get over there. Okay, I've gotten very far north, but I don't need to be this far north. Oh, that's a wolf. Ooh, okay. Careful, careful. Those will, in fact, kill me. Uh, let's see. I need to get over there. No, hang on. Have it gone way too far? I think it might even be further down. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for not doing research. I mean, I could probably already be at the legendary armor place, but I do need... Uh, I mean, I should probably have uh, taken the legendary glider first. Maybe I should kill the first boss, because I managed to kill the second one quite easily. Then again, I kind of cheesed it. Oh, the stamina regeneration is so slow. Yeah, I'm way too far north. I need to get all the way over there. Still, we're just here to learn. First attempt. If stuff didn't go wrong, then it, uh, it wouldn't be an episode of Araini. Okay, so we are gonna head to that thing, at least unlock it, because I don't think there should be a problem unlocking the spire now that we have both the glider and the grappling hook. But the place I need to go is behind that, and that should be the wolf's crush. Okay, I think I can make this? I think I can, I think I can. And yes, I can, nice. Okay, so we're gonna unlock this area. No, oh, hang on. That is that place. Where the hell am I? needed to go further up. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, I mean, I might as well just unlock this tower since I'm, I run, I ran all the way back. <laughs> uh, uh, well, at least you don't have to suffer through the entire wad. Unless you want to, but yeah, I'm gonna edit this out. Like, I'm gonna show that I took the wrong way, but, but still. Okay, so we haven't really gotten far, am I? Um, by this point, I was already halfway through the desert. The last episode, well, the first episode of the Adventure of Testicles. Now I'm just doing weird stuff. Okay, here we go. Now we unlocked it. Fancy. I'm not sure if I have to commune with the flame, but I'm gonna do it nevertheless. Okay, I need to get all the way back over there, I think. Yeah, past that thing. But I was already there. Ah, oh, God. Well live and learn. I've already spent 48 minutes on this. I'm not even close. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is starting to look familiar. Is this... this might be the place. Okay, I believe it is. Yes, 
fantastic. Will of Crush, that's exactly where I need to be. We're just gonna place it right outside of this thing. Right there, right, here we go. And then we just dig straight down. Can I dig it just right, right here and then loot it? Go, that's one. And then if we just log out and log back in, we get another one. Okay, so now we get two of those things, which are fantastic. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's get the blacksmith. So that we at least have him. Uh, do I have enough stamina for this? Uh, who knows? I'm just gonna do a little bit of trick like so. Might as well just kill the first boss too. Like, there shouldn't be a downside to that. Now hang on. With the boss down there, I do get a shroud root. Yeah, that I do, that I do. Okay, so let's kill him first, I think. I don't know, I wanted to do that from the very get-go. Whoa, am I even going to be able to kill this guy? Should I work myself towards that area? Or can I just fly directly there? Let's fly directly there. This is fine. I mean, yeah, this guy is super easy. If I had stamina, that is. Okay, get stamina. Okay, let's do that all the time. And okay, yeah, so easy, easy, easy as pie. Yeah, I got 150 experience from that guy. Also bronze sword, I mean, sure. So 150 experience is not really that much. I need more experience. I can also take this elixir veil. Okay, where's the elixir veil? Is it... Okay, so it's right down here. That should be fine. Okay, so we get that. And then like so. Okay, where's the thingy? Okay, so this is the place that I died. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so I think that the tactic would be to get better armor first before I do anything else. Let's be a little bit careful about my surroundings. Ah. <laughs> oh god. So now I can get updraft and I can also get this thing. Fantastic. Now we might be cooking. If I then go into my character and we equip these rings. Let's see. And then um, I do believe that I can be somewhat smart about this and just teleport back to the start. So this is taking one hour. I should be able to do this a lot faster. And I do need a bow. I have a bow. Where did the bow go? There's the bow. Okay, so we're just gonna go like so. And then go like this. I mean, kinda. Will we be able to get up there? Huh. Yeah, I should be able to get over to that side. Just need to be careful again with the stamina. So slow and steady, but we're making progress. So if we get into that area, then I might be able to do this a little bit quickly. Who knows? Okay, so I should be able to get over this crevice, maybe. But I don't have a lot of stamina. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, so we're doing something. Because now we're over here. We should not be able to get over here at this level. you are level 3. I mean, I'm already higher level than when I got the... Uh, Legendary armor, but yeah, this might be a bad bad idea, but come on fly. There we go Okay, okay something is happening. I mean within the first hour I managed to kill both the first and the second boss But again, I didn't do any exploitation, so it's not really that fancy And I mean last time I did it so much faster within two hours I did have like almost the best armor <laughs> uh. Why does the stamina regeneration have to be so low? I should be able to, yeah, I should be easily able to fly over there. So we'll see. Uh, maybe. Actually, I might, uh, might be doomed. Who knows? Ah, oh, damn it, I don't have the stamina. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least my stuff should be around this place. Yeah. Uh, wait. Yeah, stamina is a problem. Okay, so if we just fly down there at least and then try to get a rusted buff. That eats up a lot of my stamina. Okay, let's try to get the rest of bonus from this place. Okay. What? Why is that happening? Like, I had so much more stamina. Oh, it... Oh, what? Huh. Well, we're learning something. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna be a little bit sneaky. Like so... And then if I cancel it and activate it, yeah, it does require st uh, stamina. There's a lot of baddies around. At least if I get up there, it should be easy-ish. Then I can start to test out if I can actually get all the way over that one. Yes, I can't see a guard landing. Cold is too cold to breathe. Stamina reduced. Equip clothing to protect yourself. Ow. Oh, Jesus and a half. That's a lot of people. Okay, no archers. That's good. Okay, so maybe let's get up on that plateau at least. 
Like, okay, this is just bears. I hope, again, can't see. Can't even try to see. Okay, so my stamina is barely regenerating. Okay, so one and a half hours. I have gotten this far, which isn't that far, but I have gotten the two rings that I need in order to get infinite flight. Now I just need a better glider, because the place that I need to go is over there. But how the hell am I gonna fly all the way over there with this crappy glider? Okay, so here, if I manage to fly over there, I think we would be in business. I need rocks, and I'm in the desert. I can't get rocks here, can I? This is just dirt, limestone. Right, right. Okay, but that is a path, so that's good. I just need two rocks. Can I make this jump? I don't think so. We're gonna give it a go. I mean, we're close. We're actually very close. So close that I can almost taste it. If we had more... Let's see, can I also just do like that, log back in again, and then I wouldn't have died? Because I just need more stamina. Yeah, I didn't lose any of my stuff. Okay. I can also see if I can get the uh, acid bite from here, but right now I kind of want to just get over there. And I almost can. I just need more stamina. Hmm. But one thing I can do, I can build like a sort of staircase up here. Hmm. Let's give it a go. This, this. What happened to all my stamina? Right. Okay, so let's... Now I can fast travel over there, but I think this is a way. Yeah, right. So let's log out, log back in. Let's give it a go. Come on. Okay. Maybe. It is maybe, maybe, maybe something. Like so close, but no cigar. If I picked up the flame altar and placed that up there. Yeah, I mean, then I can build even higher. Of course I can. Right, okay. I'm just going to get back and get some stone. Okay, so if I create another flame altar further up, then I can build twice as high, and we should be in business. Yeah, so this is probably the tactic. I mean, I could probably just do this from the very get-go and just build myself all the way. Hmm. Okay, now, this time I should probably be able to fly over. Right, okay, there we go. Come on, come on. I mean, it is close. Very close. I think this has done the trick. There we go, right. Now, now we're over here. I mean, it took me two hours, but still, I think this is probably the way. Okay, so let's be a little bit careful, because if anything even looks at me in this area, I'm dead. Yeah, okay, so the temple is over here. Nice. Okay, and because the legendary glider is over there, I mean, it would be very good, and good to get that one. But yeah, now we're here, which means that I can get uh, the best armor, the best weapons, because in here... We also get just a ton of building materials for free, and we also, I mean, I don't have the room for it, but uh, let's see, I mean, already bronze bars, iron arrow, some fancy stuff over there, yeah, okay, so in less than two hours, we should be able to get everything, and there we go, iron, and also legendary stuff, like, not bad, not bad at all, I think this is probably the way to go, because here I can get, like, some... All, all the good stuff that is so oh, yes yes fantastic fantastic now let's see in order to upgrade the flame i just needed resin and shroud liquid so i should probably do that so then i can create another one so that i don't screw up any resin at all no come on resin i mean i also kind of wasted time on killing the first and the second ones so yeah there's that too if i didn't do that i should have been able to do this within an hour, but of course I am going to try again, this is just the first attempt. So far it is promising, but yeah, I do not enjoy having this little stamina regeneration. But again, I haven't got a single resin, like, not a single one. What is going on? Resin should drop from trees, right? Have they changed it? <laughs> Who knows? Really? I mean, come on, give me resin. I have a good feeling about this tree. I was wrong. Yeah, what about this big tree? Come on. There we go. Strengthen the flame. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make this one episode just to edit out the uh, weird stuff, but can't I just create something down here and then build myself up here? That should be fine. If I get eight iron bars, I should be able to make the iron bars. Okay, so we just passed the two hour mark, so not too shabby. I mean, if you don't fuck up and if you don't care about killing the bosses, I mean, you do need to level up a bit. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, let's uh, try, because we just basically started and yeah. So let's start at the two hour mark. Let's do this for maybe 15 minutes, just to see how much we get. 
Okay, so this is gonna be the last run ish. Again, I mean, I haven't been lucky when it comes to the legendary armor, but I mean, this is also just a great way to get materials like bronze and iron and all the good stuff. It's gonna be fun to see how much stuff we've managed to get. Because now it's, uh, well, I've gone a little bit of time, but that's uh, be fine. And there we go, inventory full. Oh, yeah, you could also get these. Very good way to just get infinite sparks too. Huh. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. So I've been playing for about 2 hours and 17 minutes. Then I also died a couple of times. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how the adventure started. I started off at Cinder Vault and then I just rushed in. Killed everything that I saw basically. Uh, got the glider, got the grappling hook. Very important for a traversal. Although you don't really need it. You just need the glider. But yeah, okay, so I unlocked the ancient spire. I went around this place. Like, I went up here, over there, and then I went down again, for whatever reason. Then I went up over here to Willow's Crush, where you can get the uh, Ring of Repressivity, that gives 20 mana regeneration. It is very important if you want to fly. And then we just went back to the base, and then we flew all the way over here. Unlocked this spire, you don't really have to. And then just fly it all the way over here, created a little bit of a bridge, and then we flew from that place over to this place. And the result of that is, like, I didn't get much armor, I got some good-ish weapons, and I only got, like, this armor, but uh, again, it's, uh, it's fine. But I did get, let's see, can I, GT, there we go, I got a lot of Greater Shroud Survival Flasks, quite a lot, I mean, it could be something, a lot of uh, HP potions, 12 fire wisp summon, we need to test them out, and I also got 20 experience scrolls. I'm gonna test out, because that is 2000 experience, that's, that's something. Right, I got 11 clean bandages, those are the best bandages, and I also got a lot, like over 100 arrows, and of course it's iron arrows, probably the best arrows. Uh, let's see, 146 metal scraps, 13 iron bars, 27 paper, 25 bronze, 12 antiseptic, that is to create like the, the best uh, bandages, 7 padding, which you can create the next best armor, 39 alchemy based, you need that for a lot, and of course uh, the armor that I didn't need I just uh, salvaged and I got 1300 runes, and this is all I got within just 15 minutes. And also 3,859 desk blocks. Okay, let's see. Do we level up some? Doesn't really look that good now. How now? Really? Okay, one more. Yeah, I get 100 per. So not necessarily the fastest way to level. But it is something. Now, I could use quick charge. Because I know that acid bite you can just get over from this area. And you can also get the Shroud Weaver over there, but that's not the best stuff anymore, so who knows. And you can also get the Legendary Glider somewhere around here. Yeah, so I would say that this episode, even though I fucked up a lot, I died a couple of times, I went the wrong way, but maybe I didn't need to kill the first and the second boss, but for now, I think that I'm gonna call this a success. So, we will see. I mean, this is just my first attempt at a speed run, but yeah, I also forgot that you could get like the the sparks every time you did this run so i'll probably have a few hundred which would make upgrading the altar even easier because you do need a lot of it at least down the line at one point you do need like 40 to increase it to level six but yeah not bad i mean on level four i just got this armor which kind of annoys me because on my other characters i got a uh, full set a lot faster but again it's up to rng right I would say this is quite successful. Now I just need to make a quick beta title. I, I don't think I will get a lot of views if I just call it a speedrun, because speedruns are fun, but not if you don't know what you're doing. Like, it, like I have no idea what I was doing here. Because I do think, if you just got to this area, I mean, you can get all the way over here. Hell, you can start from this place, just harvest a shit ton of stone and just build your way all the way over here. That doesn't really require that much. There's probably also a place around here where you can just get the building blocks. And you can also just create it out of terrain, so maybe like dirt? Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. But yeah, I am going to call this somewhat success. Maybe instead of getting this guy, 
to a higher level and all the armor and such, maybe I mean, you'd, better armor is very good to have, especially the full mage set. Because I plan on doing a proper speedrun where I get Acid Bite, and if I do have the full mage set, I get a lot of mana regeneration, which means that I can fly everywhere. And I also do a lot more damage with probably the Acid Bite, and if I get like a better one of these. Right. But anyhow, I think that I'm gonna say, until next time!